I have lived for centuries in blissful contentment, the blazing sun and the peaceful moon both have cast their harmonious light upon my limbs for over a thousand showers of proceeds. The creatures of the land and the sky seek my shade and marvel at the beguiling tales of ancient wonders that I cheerfully share. I have seen cycles of birth and death of a million creatures. Yet for me, life was peaceful and kind. That is, until one hideous day, I felt the ground shiver, not unlike a herd of deer, but somehow different. Then, as the vibrations grew stronger, I could hear strange cries in the distance. Then, the cause of the mayhem came into view. A herd of unfamiliar beasts was coming towards me. walked on two limbs with nearly no fur and had strange skins that moved in the breeze. They were dragging one of their own kind, bound and struggling, screeching and bellowing an unfamiliar dialect. One of them threw a vine over one of my limbs and then wrap the other end around the bound beast's neck. Then the herd pulled the vine and the beast descended into the air. It struggled like a worm being ripped from its hole by a hungry lock. Blood and water were stripping from the body of the dangling brute. The herd seemed to revel at the suffering of the unfortunate beast. After some time, it just stopped moving, it just teetered around in a circle. The herd became silent, and then walked away, leaving their quarry dangling from my limb. As the days passed, the carrion crows Cut off the decaying beast. Its rotting flesh sickened the air. Putrid liquid spoiled the once sweet soils. In time, it fell to the ground to finally be fed upon by scavengers, leaving only scattered bones. In the years that followed, the scourges brought more of their calls to my bowels. At times, several carcasses dangled from my limbs. The wraiths of the tormented beasts screamed ceaselessly within me. I must feed upon the bile, blood, and rot, permeating relentlessly into the ground taste of the rain, once unsoured by moldering savages, is this venom from bittersweet nightshade. The creatures of the land no longer rest beneath my limbs. They have fallen prey to the beast with two legs. I feel my leaves and my heart wither. Once proud limbs that sheltered and lodged the creatures of the forest weaken. 
The vile excretions of the slowly decaying dead seep down my rotting trunk. The pain is unceasing and unbearable. Mercifully, the earth's mother bequeaths the suffering forest a blessed thunderbolt. The purging blaze will put an end to my misery. At last, the anguish of my burning, festering bowl evokes a serenity that brings me my final peace. As I breathe my last, I joyously foresee the beast's ultimate death, all by their own fulfilling.